Welcome to my video. In front of you, you can see the final result of my retouching that I did for my premium course. And as you can see, we had some elements that were quite uh, bothering at the very beginning when we look at the background. So what I want to show you in this video, I want to show you how to clean up the background, especially here in the top right corner and here closer uh, to the hair to clean up this stray hair from the background. So if you are interested in the full course link is in the description on Skillshare two months for free or on Udemy for only 20 bucks much cheaper than anyone else could offer you and also with much better quality with better knowledge with better techniques and better resources and images to exercise so now I'm going to uh, remove whole edit I did and how we clean up the image. We always need to create a new empty layer that I'm going to name clean. Why empty layer? The reason is simple. We want to work non-destructively if we work on the actual layer. Well, it's difficult to not do mistake and then going back is troublesome. So you always want to work on empty layer. And let me show you something. I first want to fill the screen. I am going to use clone stamp for this because I believe the clone stamp is really best but sometimes we might take the sample from here and as you can see this cleaning up the background is not necessarily perfect we have to do a step back we have to take the selection a little bit better and clean it again but you can use pen tool and make the selection of the area you want to clean just like this hit control and hit right then make selection feather radius doesn't really matter but I rather keep it soft it's big image 4 pixels 5 pixels would be absolutely good then I choose clone stamp and I try to clean this up so as you can see it worked pretty good of course because I did Put a little bit more of attention to it but also coming close to the edge we can really nicely I had to do a step back now but we can really nicely equalize all the colors here and that would be done so when it's finished you can remove it go to the next part and if I need the hair cleaned up here of course here's easy we can do it this way but if you don't feel confident yet it's really good to make selection close to the hair, but try to not really get too close. This is really important because you want to keep it still natural. Do selection around like this. And again, make selection. Okay, clone stamp. And now without any worries, you can just paint over it. That's too much paint over like this and as you can see before and after this is the easiest way probably uh, to clean up the background I I don't do it that often but if I don't feel confident with some areas it's really great to use pen tool to make the selection and clean up your background in the natural way so I hope this video was useful uh, check the links in the description if you are interested in the course, the beauty retouching course. Check my website with my portfolio, my Instagram accounts, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.